here to share it with all of us. Maureen Beck, good morning and welcome to the Sunday Magazine. Hi, thank you. Uh, okay, so I went and looked up a picture of this lotus flower tower, and now I think you're crazy. <laughs> you know, the first time I looked at it, um, I thought the same thing. It's certainly something that I never thought I would do. Um, but, you know, when you when you climb for a long time, you're kind of always looking for the what's next. You know, what's the next big dream? Um, and when that kind of came onto my radar, thanks to a friend of mine, it was something I couldn't let go of. How did it come on your radar? And, and can you describe for us just what it looks like? Sure. So um, it actually was the dream of a friend of mine, a fellow amputee named Jim Ewing. Um, and he had been dreaming of it since he was a teenager. And this tower, it's, it's pretty much 2,000 feet, completely sheer vertical. And it's almost on this, this ship's prow is the line that you're climbing. But it's pretty intimidating when you stand at the base. You can see almost the clear 2,000 feet to the top. Um, it actually kind of looms over you the entire time you're climbing. And it's just stunning, and it's remote, and, and yeah, it's, it's scary very intimidating as well as beautiful and inspiring. You have to fly into it. We did. We took a helicopter into the base. It actually was quite the adventure to get to. Um, I'm based in Denver, so it was like flying into Whitehorse Yukon, driving eight hours in a van, taking a float plane to a lodge, waiting for a weather window, taking 